Selling Sunset Season 6 returns to Netflix with what may have been the most seemingly scripted season of the series yet. With the departure of original cast members Maya Bander and Christine Quinn, the series is now reliant on Chriselle Stouse, Mary Fitzgerald, Amanda Smith, Emma Ernan, Heather El Musa, Chelsea Lascani, Nicole Young, and Bree Tisi to pick up the slack at the Oppenheim Group. With the agents still working for Jason Oppenheim and Brett Oppenheim, who appear less in the most recent season, and doing their best to make luxury sales to their uber-rich clients, the pressure to perform is higher than ever as the market changes. While Chriselle has moved from the hero role into a more ambiguous space with Christine having left the cast, the majority of the season is focused on the split in the brokerage. With Mary taking the helm for several weeks at a time while Jason travels and Brett heads up the Orange County offices, things get heated between several of the agents and push Mary to the brink several times. Chelsea and newcomer Brie clash, while Chriselle and Nicole have several arguments throughout the season that show their true colors. With the cast dynamics shaken up, things were more manufactured than ever throughout Selling Sunset Season 6. 10 Chriselle Jason's love story While Chriselle and Jason broke up during Selling Sunset Season 5 after he decided he wasn't ready to have children, their love story was still a feature in the newest season of the series. Chriselle, who began dating G Flip after Selling Sunset Season 5, was nervous to come back to the office after her romance with Jason ended and her new relationship began. Seemingly happier than ever, Chriselle's nerves about Jason seemed performative, and the dinner the exes shared in the middle of the season felt somewhat forced. While it's clear they're both in happier places, pushing them to film one-on-one -on -one together didn't feel like a natural choice. 9. Mary Chriselle's falling out after Chriselle and Jason broke up. It seems that Mary chose Jason's side over Chriselle's, which is a point of contention for Chriselle early on in the season. Producers ask Chriselle if she thinks she can ever forgive Mary for not being there for her after the breakup, and while she didn't answer, her reaction seemed like enough to go off of. While Chriselle's pain over Mary's decision seemed warranted, the long-standing friendship between the women breaking down over a mutual ex-boyfriend felt strange and fake, almost like it was set up to divide the Oppenheim group further. 8. Chelsea Bress Long drawn-out feud Chelsea and Brie initially seemed like they might be able to get along, but Chelsea quickly nipped that in the bud when she found out about Bress family situation. Brie and her partner operate in what seems to be an open relationship, though Brie doesn't call it one. Chelsea, who spent the majority of the season questioning Bress choices, decided she was uncomfortable with how Brie was choosing to raise her son and made that clear to the rest of the brokerage. While she's welcome to her opinion, the conflict between the women felt forced and unnatural, as though it was fed to them rather than decided upon independently. 7. Jason's Long European Vacation Jason, who makes it clear that he's rarely left the Oppenheim group for more than a day or two at a time in the last several years, and his new girlfriend Marie Lou, are introduced together on Selling Sunset Season 6. Jason shared with Mary and her husband, Roman Bonnet, that they would be taking a long European vacation early in the season. While Jason was gone, Mary was left in charge of the brokerage on top of all her other responsibilities. While Mary does typically manage things around the office, Jason's vacation and Mary's extra responsibility felt like it may have been played up for the show. 6. Nicole Chrishell's Out of Nowhere Beef Nicole, who's been with the Oppenheim Group for nearly a decade, is new to the show even though she's an old pro at the brokerage.
Her beef with Chrishell, which came out at a Manhattan Beach Brokers Open, seems incredibly staged. The two fought about something that happened years prior, and Chrishell seemed entirely thrown off by the fact that Nicole was bringing something up from so long ago. Not only did the subject of their fight seem forced, they felt incredibly scripted, with both consistently faltering over their words. 5. Mary's Suggestion Box In Palm Springs during a weekend in Palm Springs, the cast of Selling Sunset Season 6 had huge fights and moments of high drama. Unfortunately for Mary, who was in charge of keeping the agents in line and pushing for them to spend the weekend decompressing, the cast was ready to fight when they got to the desert. After a weekend riddled with drama, Mary brought out her suggestion box at their final dinner together, presenting it to the table and reading the suggestions inside. The entire scene felt incredibly fake overall, with Mary reading out suggestions and encouraging the cast to compliment each other in a cringy manner. 4. Heather's Drama Filled Baby Shower at Heather's Baby Shower Tensions were already running high as everyone's drama from Selling Sunset Season 6 was starting to come to a head. While a few women weren't in attendance, Nicole and Chrisho were in the shower and found themselves in a dispute at the bar. After Nicole went to Emma to ask if everything was alright between the two of them, Chrisho butted in to see if Nicole was harassing her friend. Nicole got defensive, and the women fought, but their fight felt forced, as though Nicole was prompted to go up to Emma, and Chrisho was directed to break up their conversation. 3. Nicole threatening to sue Chrisho during the Palm Springs trip. Chrisho accused Nicole of being on drugs during a particularly brutal argument. While Nicole had come at Chrisho for an issue they'd had in the past, Chrishell hit below the belt, and it caused a huge reaction from the rest of the agents. The following day, Nicole was missing for a few hours in the morning, and when she came out to the pool to chat with Mary and Chelsea, they asked what had been happening. Nicole explained that she'd taken a drug test earlier in the day to keep her reputation clean. She also mentioned that if Chrishell didn't stop poking at her publicly, she would consider taking legal action. She said that with her professional reputation on the line, she couldn't allow herself to be defamed on Selling Sunset. Nicole's reaction to the drama felt incredibly strong, so strong that it read as scripted or at least influenced by producers. 2. Mary's difficulty handling conflict throughout Selling Sunset Season 6. Mary had to take on more and more responsibility at the Oppenheim Group while also handling her listings and life issues. She explained that with everything going on, she was feeling a bit overwhelmed as the pressure continued piling on. While everyone continued to ask Mary for help sorting out the personal issues around the brokerage, Mary had a hard time dealing with the conflict and took a backseat. In the past, Mary's had little to no issues when it came to conflict or management, so it felt somewhat fake that she would feel so overwhelmed tackling seemingly standard issues. 1. Chrishell's Head vs. Heart Conflict Chrishell's new relationship brought about a newfound freedom that she was candid about during Selling Sunset Season 6. But it quickly became clear that this freedom was making real estate less of a priority for her. Throughout the season, Chrisho made comments about wanting to drop everything and be with G Flip on tour but felt like she had to stay at the brokerage. By the end of the season, it seemed Chrisho chose to follow G Flip to Australia for their tour, leaving Los Angeles behind. The entire Head vs. Heart storyline on Selling Sunset Season 6 felt forced for Chrisho. While it's obvious that she wants to be with her partner, 
She didn't formally leave the series and seems to be working for the Oppenheim Group during the next season. As Krischel left the penthouse event and seemed to go off to the next part of her life at the end of the season, it felt far too unnatural to be real. Regardless of whether it was scripted, the drama of Krischel's decision felt like an unwarranted end to Selling Sunset Season 6. Selling Sunset Season 6 is now streaming on Netflix. Yeah.